You're serious? If you take a test, Emma's DNA won't match yours? I know it sounds crazy, but... No, it's just... But if what you're saying is true, then... How could Emma possibly be your biological daughter? I swear on my life, everything I've told you is true. Emma is my daughter, body and soul. You don't believe me anymore. I'm, I'm just trying to make sense. No, you can't. You can't make sense of it. It doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't. That's why I never wanted any of this to get out. Look, I know it sounds insane, but no matter what any DNA test says, I carried her for nine months. I gave birth to that little girl. She is a part of me. Okay. Okay, help help me understand. What? What, the million and one ways I know she's mine? Um, so her smile? Her... Her, her smile. And when she smiles, Ryan, it's like, um, it's like I'm looking in a mirror. And um, the, the way her eyes sparkle when she laughs, she looks just like my mom when she laughs. She really does. And uh, her sense of humor. She, she's four years old, and we crack up about the same thing. And, and her temper. Her temper. I mean, who do you think she gets her temper from? The way I feel when I'm with her. The way I feel when I'm not. The way she holds a spoon. The way she, she hums when she's drawing a picture. Her, her limitless energy. Her, her stubborn determination. Her toes. Her, her toes. Yes, her toes. Her, her middle, middle toes are, are longer than her big toes. I remember they were like that in the sonograms. I still have the printouts. I can show you. I still have them. She has the same toes now that she did then. The minute that she was born, the doctor placed her on my stomach. And the umbilical cord was still attached, and her little, her little legs just were going crazy, you know? Boom, boom. I saw everything in that moment. Her, uh, her birthmark on her right thigh, the way her nose kind of... It turns out that the tip, <laughs> those toes that I had seen for so long in the ultrasound, finally there they were, just, just kissing the air. And then I looked into her beautiful blue eyes, and I saw the same look that I have seen every day since. The most amazing, loving, knowing look. The look a child gives her mother. I am so tired of explaining myself, Ryan. I understand. I, I do, but if you want me to help you, then you have to help me. Now, how did you find out that Emma's DNA didn't match yours? I wanted a child so badly. And Dr. Madden promised he'd deliver. I am. Um, I always expected we would have our children the old fashioned way, but after we were married, Terry told me about some genetic concerns in his family, and he convinced me that we shouldn't risk passing them on to our children. I didn't really jump on board at first, but Terry was adamant. He really pushed for it, so eventually I agreed. After a ton of research and interviewing a number of fertility specialists, we settled on Greg Madden. Terry wanted a daughter so badly. He said he wanted her to look just like me. I know can't even think about it. To think that he might have created Emma for his own twisted... It's disgusting. 
I can't believe I, I should have known with this whole weird... You could possibly have known, okay? You can't blame yourself. But I do. Every day. Anyway, um... Dr. Madden said that he couldn't guarantee us a girl, but that there were certain ways to uh, manipulate acid levels and that can increase your chances of having one. So I did everything he told me to do and I got pregnant on my first try. My pregnancy and delivery, the whole experience was a dream. But the best gift was Emma. Just this beautiful little girl. I did the DNA test when Terry and I were going through our divorce. I was just so desperate to hold on to Emma and I wanted to sever any ties that Terry had to her. So I thought that the results could prove that Emma was biologically mine, but not biologically his. I never should have taken that test. The first time I saw those DNA results, my heart stopped. I, I, I couldn't believe what I was reading. I knew something had to be wrong. It, it just it didn't make sense for Emma and me not to be a match. Did you, did you have another test run? I wanted to, but I was scared. I was scared that Terry would somehow find out what I was doing and try to use the test against me. What, did, he, did he ever find out? No, but he might as well have. I didn't win full custody, so I ran with Emma. I mean, that judge wanted me to share custody with that monster. Anyway, I had heard that Dr. Madden was living in Pine Valley, so I came to ask him about him, ask, ask some sort of explanation as to why my DNA didn't match my daughter's. But the doctor was gone before I ever got the chance. Did you ever lose consciousness when you were giving birth to Emma? No. I told you, my delivery was perfect. I remember the entire thing. And you said you saw her immediately after you delivered? Ryan, I held her with the umbilical cord still attached. There is no way that Dr. Madden could have switched babies on me. But there is a way that he could have used someone else's egg, right? No. There isn't. Emma is 100% my child. Body, blood, and soul. You don't believe me? You want me to give Emma to Tad and Dixie? I stack up all the evidence, but honestly, none of it matters. Because I believe you. I believe you. I believe that Emma is yours, body, blood, and soul. And I will not let anyone take her from you. Thank you so much. It doesn't mean that we're not going to have a hell of a fight, though. You know that. Especially if Tad and Dixie find out about that DNA test. I mean, Tad is a hell of a P.I. It's only a matter of time before he figures it out. Well, then we'll have to make sure he can't find us. He, he can't take Emma if he can't find her. Well, you can't run forever and hide forever, Annie, but you can prove that Emma is not biologically theirs. I mean, that's the way to go here. We run another DNA test, Tad and Dixie's, against Emma's. And if there's no match, you're home free. Just run those tests. Get to the truth about Emma's relationship to Tad and Dixie. Believe me, I'll be discreet. They'll, they'll have no idea. No, no, no. I don't want you to do it. I can't, I can't take the chance. You're afraid that there'll be a match, aren't you? You're afraid that Emma really is Kate.